Hello friends, today I thought of uh, trying uh, a new set of uh, brushes that I have ordered online. So this is the brush. Okay. Uh, this is a set of uh, synthetic hair mop brush set from uh, stationery. Right, so I got it online. It is uh, price wise, it is uh, very reasonably priced. Okay. So uh, I'm going to see how how does it work and um, uh, what is the kind of results that i am getting so this is a set of uh, four brushes and it came in a reasonably good package okay there was no damage in the transportation uh, let let me see uh, how it looks uh, by opening it okay so let us see further The board is little slanted, so it is kind of rolling. Yeah, it looks the quality wise, it looks good. Okay, this is number eight, the biggest one, and uh, from the look, it looks good. Yeah. Right, it is tied with some metal string okay so hopefully it should be strong enough and uh, the the ferrule is uh, the the hairs are synthetic now it is little stiff so maybe I'll, I'll, I'll let it dip it in water and soften it i mean right the handle is uh, comfortable to hold i mean the grip is good it's it's a short handle one done i mean got it online from stationary see usually the the mob brushes are uh, reasonably costly so i, I wanted to try out uh, some of uh, the brushes uh, available at uh, reasonable prices and uh, this is one and i have also i also have some other brands uh, so i will try to see and capture the video of, of those also so this is number eight and this is number four and the build quality is same right this also looks okay and this is uh, number two okay. it seems to have good tip so you should i should be able to do a lot of uh, uh, reasonable uh, details and uh, this is number zero there are yeah minor difference between number two and number zero two and four yeah this is uh, size wise this is the comparison okay okay eight four two and zero and this is how it looks it looks good the smaller brushes have good tips this also has have uh, good tips so let me try uh, dipping it for some time and then We'll see how the shape looks after that. I have kept it in water for a couple of uh, seconds. We'll see. Uh, I have dipped it in water, and uh, this looks. The shape looks good. Okay, so it is. See, currently it's brand new. So uh, at at this time, I think it is having a good amount of. Uh, uh, shape retention spring sort of thing okay and the tip is still holding good this also yeah it looks good I'm not sure about if any hair will fall out on usage that we'll have to test it and see and uh, that may happen only after uh, prolonged usage so let us see that I cannot comment anything about that so let us see how does it work? I'm trying to mix some colors. And I'm trying to use a little bit of uh, colors. I'm trying to 
load the brush okay. and let us see how does it look um, It's holding reasonable amount of paint. I haven't, uh, I have, I mean, loaded it one time. I'm getting reasonable amount of, uh, I mean, washes with this. I think it is uh, in paint capacity. I mean, the capacity to hold water and paint that looks uh, reasonably good. And uh, let me see. How is the how much thinner and thicker I can make? These are some thin lines. Okay, with the tip, thick lines, thick, even thicker, even thicker, thicker. Okay, this side. I didn't load it fully. Maybe I'll thick lines. We are getting a variety of uh, like variety of lines, so that looks good, and the the retention of pin is also good. Okay, it all looks good for now let me see how does it look after some usage so I'm trying to see the same thing for the number four brush okay trying to do that for number four brush yeah this reasonably good amount of uh, good quantity of paint is um, held it's an it's a synthetic brush so uh, you if you and it is a very textured paper so you may find some white gaps that happen for the other uh, number eight brush also but it holds a reasonably good amount of uh, water and you should be able to get some fine lines thicker lines and yeah fine and thicker lines we are getting that is which is fine let me see the number two brush okay let me take a number two brush here A reasonably good, good quantity of paint is getting loaded and we are getting yeah fine lines bigger lines yeah reasonably bigger lines also and number zero I use this area It is holding sufficient sufficient amount of paint and this being the thinner one you should be able to get very thin lines also I, I think I am getting reasonably thin lines with the the, the big mouth brush also and reasonably big size uh, with thicker lines also overall as of now it looks good the retention of the tip is also good and the hairs are not falling as of now okay we have just started using it and maybe what i will do next is i will try to make a simple imaginary painting out of it 
and see how it behaves. In this painting, I am trying to use this uh, the new brush set, the synthetic mop brush set which I got from uh, stationery. Okay. So I am trying to use this set for the entire painting without using any other brush. I am just trying to uh, complete a painting, just a random painting, not a, not a detailed one. And uh, the paper that I am using is Chitapat. 270 GSM rough uh, texture paper. I got this paper from Wrap and Woof. Uh, uh, I mean, they are delivering all across India. So I booked it, um, uh, booked it uh, telephonically, and they have ordered. Uh, they have sh delivered it to uh, my home. Uh, the qu the quality of the paper is very good. And uh, we have been using this paper for quite a while, and it is very good for practicing, and it is, it gives very good results. Okay, so if you are a if you are a beginner or if you want to practice more, this would be a, a good paper to use. Okay, now let us just try to make some painting out of it. So I'm not really. Uh, I don't have too much of plan here today, so I'm just trying to get a lot of, uh, I mean, watery wash for the sky. Okay, so I'm just trying to make large washes for the sky. For large washes, I think uh, a, a bit more uh, bigger size of the brush would have been even a better choice. But uh, this is the this is the what do you call it as biggest size that uh, we have for now and uh, just finding it little bit uh, I mean I wish if it if it was uh, if it was giving a little bit more broader uh, brush application and brush marks but since it is uh, synthetic and at this price range i think it gives very good results i'm just trying to quickly fill the paper with the different colors i haven't wet i haven't made the paper wet okay so it is just a dry paper it is not a wet paper so it is uh, see the paper is taking the wash pretty good and the coverage that I am getting is also good uh, with the brush. So this is the paper that I am using is, as I told, it is Chitrapat, uh, Chitrapat uh, 270 GSM paper, and it is a quarter sheet. The size is quarter sheet. Okay, uh, quarter sheet means 11 by 15 inches, and it is pretty decent I mean the, the kind of the behavior of the paper as well as the the brush so I have another paper another brush set which I, I I have ordered from the same wrap and woof maybe I will I'll try to show the usage of that once and see let us see how that behaves I have already used it for another painting, the the other brush set from Wrap and Woof. So I'll still capture a video of uh, painting with that brush. And uh, this brush has, I mean, not this brush. The 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 paper has some texture, so you may find some little bit of white gaps left in between because I am applying the brush pretty fast okay. so, yeah, those white gaps sometimes you are seeing is because of the texture of the paper okay. I think we got pretty decent coverage in the, on the paper with this brush and this is the number 8 so 
size of this uh, mop brush and I think while this is still wet I would like to show some uh, clouds okay so I'm mixing some 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 colors for the clouds okay. the colors that we are mixing is not that important okay we are just trying to get some colors I'm just trying to see how does it look. Some part of the paper is already wet, I mean dry. So I'm getting some dark edges. But I think reasonably uh, this is very nice. And the kind of spread that we are getting for the clouds it's all it's all good okay so let us wait until this gets dry and then maybe okay what i would i would also do is uh, maybe let us think that some portion of this is water and I will try to make some suggestion of water I mean distant stuff and its reflection okay so maybe around this is a piece of water and some kind some water some some kind of uh, foliages okay. and some reflection also So let us leave it at this place and maybe with a smaller brush I'll try to make some suggestion of ripples. Okay. I'm not I haven't given any uh, any time any any time for getting it dried so it might have naturally dried for uh, some some uh, certain bit of uh, wetness we would have lost naturally so I'm just trying to assume that okay the paper is dry enough okay, for the ripples to read okay. and some ripples at the bottom some foreign ripples maybe even smaller I'm using what brush the zero brush I think some of these can little be little bit extent don't worry about don't hesitate to touch your watercolor is okay this is perfectly okay if you touch it okay. I think I think this is okay for now and let me later do some kind of details some some maybe some boats or something we'll suggest later I think this is dry enough so let us try to let us try to define some boards I am using the same brush only okay.
um, maybe we'll make some boats here I'm just trying to see where I can fit the boat maybe some boat here maybe another boat somewhere here a couple of boats okay and I'm using for the smaller boats I'm using the the smallest brush that I'm having okay little bit of a cerulean blue and mauve kind of thing I'm using a touch of white for the for the board because I don't want this to be very prominent in terms of okay this could be this could be the distant board maybe some touch of white I'm mixing here to make it little lighter in color okay and maybe some darker some darker boats maybe somewhere maybe here I don't know whether I should put it there I'm still using the same okay, same brush and this is number zero for the details I think number zero should be okay and this some darkness at some places okay. and I'm not sure whether we should make another boat or not so let us try another boat which should be I want that boat should be a little bigger so I'm using maybe I'm using a slightly different color maybe I'm using a little bit of uh, burnt sienna and some touch of orange maybe there I don't I, I think that may be a wrong choice let us go with the same color scheme okay little bit of blue and mauve violet etc those kind of a colors color scheme and maybe maybe I'll use a big bread big boat maybe which is moving in this direction All same, no much of color variations. Maybe I'll use some some other color also to mix here. Okay, so that it looks a little bit interesting or some color variations. Okay. Don't worry too much about these colors and all. This is not a kind of a beautiful painting that I'm making. Right. I think now we can go for some reflections and we can call it as done. Okay. I think reflection. little bit of shapes maybe we need some people around here okay so we cannot be very just the empty bottle empty boats doesn't look really good so there could be some people around here okay and see the color scheme and all I'm using something which is matching to this Don't worry about what color I'm using at all. Okay. There's some just some colors. Similarly, just make it little some activities happening here, okay. And a little bit of reflection maybe.
think I think that is fair enough for the for the reflection and now this needs little bit more of uh, reflection okay it cannot be just like this we cannot just leave it like this and some reddish reflection for those people and little brownish reflection for this i think that is fair enough for this reflection and there should be some tiny reflection for this in fact i haven't used all the four brushes here i have used this brush number 8 and number 0 okay because it is i didn't give too much of uh, details or other things some some darker touches required something very dark can help thing very dark at this place is required in fact to show the shape of the bottle little bit okay i think we are pretty much done for this and i find there should be some line showing the horizon there so i'm using number 0 brush for the line and let us see how does it look somewhere around the center of this okay. so that they look like some kind of a separation the color lines here okay yeah i think we are done maybe this could be little bit big bigger line and it can extend i think we are pretty much done so i use give some touches of white and orange some direct pigment somewhere to give some highlight is a, a white kind of a touch for the details i think some white touches at the edge with thick white pigment yeah. i think that's it for this today's uh attempt of uh, testing this uh, brush this looks the control that i am having uh, with this zero brush and the uh, eight brush is really good i hope the same thing will be there for the other brushes also and i am able to pretty much control even precise things and let me see how my uh, if i can sign it well 
and we are done here we'll call it as done let me see how it looks after we take out the tape so i think this has uh, this is reading reasonably good the paper is as i told it is uh, chitrapat uh, uh, 270 gsm uh, very close to two, uh, 300 gsm the paper response is really good and uh, it is accepting the paper i mean the color is pretty well no patches and it is giving sufficient drying time so that you can do lot of wet on wet spreading and all good and the control with the brush is also good the 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 stationary synthetic uh, mop brush set okay the set i i i liked it so let us see i'll try keep on using it and see if the hairs are falling so hope you had a good time watching it uh, thanks for watching and we'll come up with another video uh, soon thank you very much